Hey, what's up everyone? John of the Geek here, and today I'm going to be attempting to fix this Dell laptop here that is obviously experiencing some GPU video graphics card problems. Now, I tried hooking this up to the external monitor here through the VGA port, same thing. So if you ever either get this uh, display or you don't get any display out of the external, chances are there's something wrong with either a cable or the GPU and we're going to open this up to try to figure out what's going on here and so let's start by taking this thing apart alright so the first thing I'm gonna do is take out the battery and then now we're going to open this RAM door but uh, we do want to remove this optical drive through here, right? And now you're pretty much going to, every screw that you see, you're going to remove on the back here. All right, make sure you uh, keep an eye on the hard drive screw here. These four screws are the hard drive screws and they're smaller, so make sure that you uh, point that out and put back the right screws. Alright, so underneath these uh, rubber feet here are screws as well. So just take a small little flathead screwdriver and kind of pry it. And you also have to keep in mind which, which ones you're taking out here because they do have like a little bit of an angle and they go in specific spots. All right, now I'll flip this over. Now we're going to remove the keyboard and right up on top of here there are four little latches and it's pretty easy to get off we're gonna start on one side and if you could see here there's like this little button and as soon as you press it in here see that as soon as you press it in here it'll kinda of lift off and you can kinda of grip it don't pull on it yet, but just move on down to the next one. And then press the latch in. All right? And be careful, don't pull this up quite yet because there is a cable right underneath here. So what you're going to do is you're going to separate, open this little latch here. Just like that and your keyboard cable will come out. You set that aside. Now we're going to unscrew all the screws that are on here. Right, so before we lift out this whole top bezel here, we're going to remove the cables. And you're just going to lift the little latch here and they have a little pull tab for you. There's one more here. Alright, so now we're going to use our plastic spudger here. You don't necessarily have to use this, but we're going to separate our top piece here. All 
Alright, so now we can remove the hard drive. So you're going to want to kind of tilt it up a little bit and then push out. Then we can go ahead and slide out our optical drive. Remove this cable here. And this cable here. Now we're going to remove two screws. Then you can kind of slide this out this way so that the little tab here can uh, release the motherboard. Then we're going to go out this way. And this is the motherboard. Alright, so this is the bottom portion of the motherboard. And here we have the CPU. This is the uh, chipset here. And the graphics chip underneath there. So we're going to go ahead and remove this whole fan assembly and heat sink. And they have it numbered here. And so this is the order you should be going in to unscrew everything. Alright, I'm going to remove the fan cable. Then we'll slowly take this apart. All right. So we have a little bit of heat of uh, thermal paste on there and what we're going to do is that we want to clean this off and I, re I recommend using a uh, 91% isopropyl alcohol along with some Q-tips. All right, so now that we have that cleaned off and it's dry, we're going to go ahead and use a heat gun here or you could use a blow dryer. Uh, this is a pretty powerful heat gun, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to let this run for maybe about 15 to 20 seconds, not more than 30 seconds. And so typically you want to have it going on top of it, straight down. But for the purpose of the camera here, all right. So after you've hit it with a heat gun for about 30 seconds or so, we're going to apply a little bit of thermal paste. Alright, so now we're ready to put everything back in. It's pretty much going to be in reverse order.
All right, now we're going to fire this up. And everything looks to be A-OK. -okay. We're going to run some tests on it to make sure that the graphics and the CPU is running good. That's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, thumbs up, thumbs down, whatever. Subscribe, and I'll catch you later.